Hello YouTube friends, this is Heidi. Welcome to my channel. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you who have supported my channel. And if you're new here, I hope you take the time to subscribe. And today, I'm actually going to be showing you um, how I sew strips onto shapes like the hexagon or a pentagon. One of the things that you will notice, when you do the log cabin method of sewing the strips on, the first strip that you sewed on ends up being a, a very small piece. And I'm going to show you how I go ahead and do this so that um, each piece is exactly the same size it goes around. So uh, stick around and I'll see you on the other side. So as I said before, I'm going to be showing you how each of the strips are gonna look pretty much just like this piece that you see here and this one here. This one is the last uh, strip that is sewn on, ends up being very long in the traditional log cabin strip method. And the first one ends up being this tiny little triangle right here. So, and this is doing a hexagon, but I'm actually gonna be showing you using a pentagon. And this one, each side is about one and five eighths inches. It uh, doesn't really matter whatever size it is that you like. And I've cut several different strips of um, scrap fabric into one and a half inch strips. So to start this out, I am actually going to uh, sew on pretty much the same way that you would normally do it. But one of the things that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be starting so that the strip extends past this edge at least over an inch and a quarter. And that way I have plenty of fabric to cover the trimming for later. I'm gonna center this piece right in this pentagon, right in the middle of the strip. I'll be sewing from the center to this edge, a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and leaving this um, half unsewn. If you like, you can pin your pieces, but I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it in here. Do my quarter inch seam allowance. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finger press that so that the seam allowance is actually underneath the strips. This is the sewn over here. This is the free edge right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down and trim this. Go ahead and lay the next strip over that whole edge there. Take it to the sewing machine and sew it along that whole edge. And once again, I'll finger press it with the seam allowance going out to the outside edge so that it lays under the strips. And again, I'll take it to my cutting mat and I will follow this edge. Also, make sure that this line is nice and straight with my ruler so that these two lines are parallel with one another. I've trimmed this line and I, I, before I sew this on, I will also trim this one. And take my next piece, line it up with that edge. Again, you can pin these if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. I do like to turn it over so I can see exactly where I'm sewing in regards to the pieces underneath. is trying to trim both edges. So to trim this edge here, I'm just also double checking that this line right here is running parallel all right on the seam. Make sure everything is nice and straight.
So uh, this is the free edge of the very first one. We're going to put that back out of the way. And this one I want to line up along this edge. Now I'll just go ahead and open this up and finish that seam from right there to that edge. Good press do the next round exactly the same way well you can see by doing it that way it just gives it I think in my opinion a much nicer finished look when all of the strips are the same length I'm gonna go ahead and do the second round and again just remember you want to start it you're st sewing halfway down the strip and it doesn't matter which one you start on because they're all exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and lay that on there. And just like before, I'll sew from this side and starting halfway and go down the strip. back open I'm gonna go ahead and trim this edge this end off and press the whole thing and come back and show you the finished product well there you go there is the finished Pentagon I hope you enjoyed that and as you can see at least in my opinion I think it's a much prettier finished product and I really hope you give it a try I hope this finds you all happy and healthy and until next time have a great one bye for now